subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. Man, okay. Well, man, tell me, uh, you know, even before the comedy, right? Know, uh, boys had a different type of situation going on, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I see where you go. You know, uh, tell me a little bit about this because there, there was somebody put out a documentary, right? I don't, I don't know who. I just remember somebody came right. across a documentary about these right. kids who left school and went to go rob a bank. You there know you what I'm saying? Got caught up. And these niggas was from Mo City. Right. And the shit just tripped me out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you actually seen the documentary? I saw the documentary. Okay. I wish I could see it again. I was right. trying to find it, but I can't remember where it was. It was on YouTube, uh, Apple. It was on Netflix. What's for the name of it? Evolution of a Criminal. Evolution of a Criminal. Shout out Darius Clark Monroe. What's up, bro? Uh, 1997, January. Uh, me and a couple dudes. We decided, oh, that's, that's going to make it happen. So we did just that. And uh, I mean, uh, two of us got caught up for it. One of them ran his jawline. <coughs> wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. So, so here's my thing. What's up? This was a random. We just gonna do this. Y'all hadn't been on. What were y'all doing prior? Leading like y'all wasn't hitting no stat. Like what? You know what I'm saying? Because this is a this ain't no small right, time deal. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Before that, I'm gonna be honest with you. It was probably little stuff here and there. Nothing to the extent or nothing even remotely as close as that. Uh, I remember us watching, uh, I believe it was Set It Off back in the day. And that kind of triggered some stuff too. That along with <clears throat> all the the double disc Tupac albums. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, y'all listen to what your kids listen to. I'm telling you because it does play a part. Music does play the a music part. Influence, yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Because um, when we actually got to the bank, uh, we had second thoughts. So they both came back. I was driving. They both came back like, man, you know, I ain't feeling this. And I remember turning on the radio and they had some Tupac on. I can't remember what song it was, but it hyped it up and it went the fuck back in there. And the rest is fucking history. So that's what I'm saying. You got to always, I think a lot of times, I'm all over the place, but I think a lot of times parents be trying to be their kid's friend instead of being a parent. You ain't got to be a super strict motherfucker, but you fuck that friend shit. You know what I'm saying? Friends, you ain't got to, you don't feed your friends and pay all their fucking bills and your kids. But, uh, I mean, that's what it was. We just said fuck it. I don't think nothing really just led up to it. It was just this, this, and that. And I was saying, you know what? Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, so. Okay, so tell me how y'all put this plan together. Break break this whole shit down. Break, break, this break down. me down. Shit, I got to go back 20 some odd years. Let me see. Because this was so, this, it just tripped me out <laughs> right. that, that something that, for one, that these kids would do it that weren't like career criminal, quote right. unquote. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it shit happened in the Houston, in, in Houston, Mo City, whatever. You know right. what I'm saying? But, well, I was the oldest. I was 17. It was 16. Mm. So. Um, y'all are just regular kids, really. Y'all ain't yeah, just nothing. regular kids. Um, one of the guys was my neighbor, stayed next door. Smart guy, made straight A's, well known. Uh, then you had me, the class clown. And then you had the other guy, was just you know, just a young kid trying to, I don't know, try to fit in. Trying, I don't know, yeah. trying to fit in or whatever. So we came up with this, and I remember. Uh, God rest the dead, uh, one of my best friends that passed away. We was basically just kind of recruiting. Hey, man, you know, asking about such and such. He said, okay, this is one guy. I said, okay, that fool. Okay, that's the dude that be skipping school with us and shit. So not thinking you can't, and that, that's what I always tell people, man. Listen, I used to tell people that. You can't go from something, I mean, excuse me, you can't go from nothing to a whole bunch of something and expect a person to keep that under wraps and quiet, especially a child. You know what I'm saying? So we was basically looking for somebody to get down that was about that. And just so happened this dude's name came up. And it ultimately just kind of backfired. You know what I'm saying? And for years I kind of held on to that that resentment. All that, you know what I'm saying, that I got to get at this dude type shit. Until, you know, once I got older and started thinking and started having my own kids, you got to realize it ain't so. It's only so 
solid a person can be yeah. at 16. You know what I'm saying? When he pressed by professional adults, somewhere along the lines, you're going to break. So, I mean, ultimately, me and my homeboy that directed the movie, he's a filmmaker now. He studied under Spike Lee and everything with the NYU. Uh, we the ones that had to go through the, the probation. We the ones that had to do prison time. This guy never did time or anything. The one that, that talked. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.